What's up, Throttle? Do you want to check out a JDM car with a one of one vinyl wrap and six screens? Well, keep on watching, because today you're in for a ride. Hi, I'm Nadine, the co-founder of Throttle, and today I'm in Portland, Oregon with my buddy Derek. Hi, I'm Derek. This is my 2014 Scion FRS. Let me show you the modifications and the shows up one. Cool. So then why did you bring the yellow Scion with us today? I brought it as a comparison between how much modifications I've actually done compared to a more stock FRS. Okay, and what year is this one then? This is a 2015. Well, how about you give me a walk around of the show car? All right, sounds good. All right. This is an insane looking wrap. It's got glitter on it. It's kind of got black, different shades. How would you describe this color? It's like a black with a psychedelic metallic flake into it. Okay. And then it's got a psychedelic accent. I just wanted something loud. I didn't want just like a normal color. And when the sun hits it, yeah. it comes alive. Yeah, it definitely kind of looks like a rainbow. And it, what's really cool about it is you've got the carbon fiber offsetting the glitter right, too. Right. This is a BIS carbon fiber hood and then I got custom headlights. So there, we got carbon fiber canards right. and the carbon fiber brake ducts. It's made it with this Stance Nation lip kit. And I decided to custom paint the Dark Knight emblem just to tie in that whole Batman thing. I love it. Okay. And wow, that is incredibly low. So yes. what are you not able to do with this car? No speed bumps, no potholes. This. No potholes in Oregon? You gotta, you gotta avoid you everything. That? You gotta okay. know exactly where you're going. That's one of my sponsors. It's my main sponsor, Street Ambitions. They've yeah. done all my custom lighting okay. for the car. The wheels are powder coated. That's actually what inspired the color of the wrap. I wanted ah. something that would match and that had so many colors to it. I knew I had to step it up with the wrap. So my sponsors are embossed. If you look right there, it's 425 yeah. and then Express. Very cool. So tell me about this part. Why did you decide to go with this? Because this is not carrying on in the front. It's just here in the rear of the car. We wanted to throw a couple more shapes on the side so it just wasn't a bland glitter. We yeah. wanted to razzle dazzle the glitter. My gosh, that's a really nice diffuser. This is a Rocket Bunny okay. diffuser. And then underneath of it is a downforce arrow diffuser and I custom made it fit to that exhaust. It has a full custom exhaust from the all the way from the block all the way out. Oh my god. Got headers, front pipe, over pipe, and then it ends in a ready cap back exhaust. Now where'd the theme of the Dark Knight come from? The car was originally dark gray, okay. so it looked like a Batmobile. Um, so that kind of inspired all the fins and everything like that. Okay. And then this year we went full glitter with it. So it's like a glam Batman. So what was <laughs> glam Batman? I love it. So I'm just sitting in these uh, beautiful car seats, these racing seats. Are these comfortable to drive in? They're comfortable, but you just can't see anything. <laughs> Because that's not important when you're driving, of course. As long as you're driving straight, don't turn left or right or reverse, you're fine. <laughs> okay, blind spots, forget about that. Okay, so tell me about the carbon fiber you put in here. It's got carbon fiber, and it's got the carbon fiber gauges. That's wow. actually from another evasive show car for SEMA. The normal gauges are actually straight onto the passenger, and these ones have actually been inset in, so you can actually read it from the driver's seat. And to carry on with the race theme, I can see that you've got a Momo steering wheel as a quick release. It is a quick release. It's the Momo Gotham steering wheel with a matching Gotham shift knob. Ties in the whole Dark Knight thing. Okay, so you said there are six screens. So this is number two, three, and four? Yes. Wow, so I can imagine you're sitting in a car show, you've got this trunk up and everyone's just going by taking pictures. And I can safely be at a distance out of people's pictures, sit in a chair and I can listen to the music. <laughs> they actually face outside. So when I'm driving, People can see my music videos or whatever I'm watching. Oh my God, that's so cool. Well, I've seen enough of this car. How about we go for a ride? All right, sounds good. All right. So how did you get into cars? Um, I blame my dad and- uh, <laughs> You blame your dad. <laughs> yeah, but my, my dad was always taught me how to do like basic kind of car maintenance. And he was a, he's a mechanic. Also, I played a lot of um, Gran Turismo, and that's actually how I designed this car. So, Whoa. Yeah. it's even vibrating the seat. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. And so, let's talk about these car shows. How many do you enter in, say, a year? I do pretty much a car show uh, every weekend um, during the year. Wow, that's and a lot of 
commitment. It, it is. It's a lot of time um, spent sitting in parking lots and racetracks. And out of all those shows, have you gotten any awards? I usually get at least one trophy every show. Um, I can gotten, see why. It's pretty amazing. I've gotten nine best of shows so far. Big Northwest, Import Faceoff, Royal Fitment, West Coast Shootouts, and then we got Judge's Choice, which is kind of their equivalent to best of show. So that was pretty impressive. See, my town's representing <laughs> for you. There you go. So what do you get out of this? Because it's not really for the money. Is it just the intrinsic? Love of doing it. I want to push my, myself and my skills, so I always, every year, I change it up. And I do these shows to just kind of see that, like, I might be a guy out of Vancouver, Washington, but I can build it just as good as a shop can, if not better. Nice. So how does this feel to drive? Um, it feels like a really expensive go-kart, to be ah! honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, with a roll cage, yeah, I am getting that feel. Okay. It's, I did a full suspension with sway bars and end links and bracing and stuff like that. So when you when you turn that wheel, it's turning. It's a shame because when you go to a car <laughs> show, no one's really able to drive in it with you, but it's a really cool vibe here, very aggressive feel to it. Right, right. Is this an automatic or a manual? It is actually an automatic um, because I went to the quick release steering wheel. I lost the paddle shifters. Right. I have, I've had it tuned so it's quick as quick as a, as a stick shift now so coming for next year what's your plan next year the cars can go a little wider um that's i kind of don't want to tell you exactly what kit i'm okay. going with All you right. guys can, we're gonna keep it quiet you can, you can check the throttle app and <laughs> I'll, it'll be up there okay so you're starting a new group on throttle you want to tell us a little bit about it it's a little virtual group called uh, Justice League. <laughs> I love it. It's been great with the Batmobile theme. Right. And so if you have a truck, muscle car, import, feel free to just come on down and hit me up on the throttle app and we can just have a good time just chatting up about modifications. Yeah. And it's not restricted to just people in Portland, right? No, just worldwide. Just let's have some fun with it. Okay. Awesome. The next video that's coming is a Mazda RX-7, and all you JDM lovers, you're not going to want to miss that. So we've had so much content today on Derek and his car that we've actually split it up into multiple parts, and we kept some of it for the Throttle app, so please download it today. So thanks for watching, and join us next time as Throttle's driving connections and fueling experiences. See you guys. <laughs>